Hi, let's go to bed. <laughs> Hi, let's go to bed together. Sounds like a great plan, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a weirdo if you haven't figured that out already. I don't know what my brain thinks sometimes. Also, goodness, I got into another university course for the fall. English this time. How am I doing off it? Yeah. Let me see the crabs. Big Bertha, you're, you're gonna have to wait because you fill up everything. <laughs> Sleep. Might as well. Yeah. Damn it. I don't know if you saw that, but I accidentally pressed the Windows button. Yeah, it's your bed for the night. It's a couch. It's not a mattress in the streets. Stop complaining. Yeah, it's morning. We're halfway through the month. Oh, am I in your way? Sorry about that. I was just feeling Trinity from work. Here, let me get out of your way. Did you think about what we talked about yesterday at all? I mean, cutting dance breaks. Well, yeah. I won't pursue it if you don't think it's a good idea, but it's the fastest way out of this mess. I know Mark probably wouldn't approve, but I just don't want to see you get hurt behind the wheel. I don't know how, what he'd do if something happened to you. If anyone should be a danger, in danger, it's that sleaze ball. It certainly doesn't does simplify things for us, I suppose. So what do you say? So here we go and tip the scales in our favor or not. Well, I've got 15 days before I got to be in San Bernardino. Still got three parts left before the car will be ready to race too. Considering all that, maybe it's not such a crazy idea. Let's go. You know what? Let's go. Let's go do it. As much as I may not like this, it's the best option we got. I don't know. You made the right decision. Now, you won't be risking your lives for the sake of that car. Right, let's just get this going before I change my mind about it. I still got a bad feeling about this. Well, alright. I'm going to head up to Stan's shop and start to be talking him. Hopefully, there won't be much trouble convincing him to come out into the scrapyard with me. Just check to make sure the coast is clear before you sneak in, sneak in there. If Stan sees you before I get him out of there, I will put the place on lockdown for sure. Right, my only problem is I got no idea how to cut someone's brakes. Well, it's easier than you think if you know what to look for. All I need to do is get the brake lines in half and then put them back together with some flimsy tape. After that, things, sh things should take care of themselves. That does sound remarkably simple. Hey, I didn't say it was a good plan for nothing. Okay, enough wasting time. With any luck, we can be done all this before more tomorrow, before the morning through. I wish me luck. Be safe. You too. <coughs> yeah. Let's go. Got his bricks and probably kill him or something. Don't surprise me. Oh, he died. No, nothing in there. We only have one item of food left. A big ass fish. Not that I don't love fish, I love fish. Fish is great. But yeah. And with eating fish, you know that they were abused in their lives because they're fish. <laughs> Yep, yep, let's go. Alright, better be quick. <laughs> Where's that line hiding? Alright, just gotta be careful now. <laughs> Good luck racing with this now. Just tape them back up with, with this clear tape, because now I won't notice. Time to scan before Carlos is in his interest. Yeah, they might kill him, but we need to get to Steve. <laughs> yeah, and morning's over. Hey, okay. And they're gone now, I guess. Yeah. Let's um go back to the trailer. 
maybe. Let's see if she's there, or do we go after the church? Or do we go into Stan and see if he wants to race? Now? We can get a move on. Yeah, okay. Go. Let's race. And probably kill the guy. There you are. Looking everywhere for you. I want to ask you if you figured out where I'm dropping you off once we get to San Bernardo. Oh no, not exactly. I figured you could just stop me at the train station and I could figure out from there. Oh no, that doesn't sound like the best plan. Where's the rest of the wedding guests staying? Surely if he's got folks coming in from out of town, they'll have something arranged already, yeah? No, him is probably already all figured out. No, I never thought about that. Why don't you go on and give him a call to find out? We are thinking of still got the number from the house programmed into his old phone. I don't know. I'm not really up to talking right now. You're a dick, Mark. Damn you. It looks like it's already ringing. Oops. Mark, I don't. Hello? Oh, um, hi, Casey. Can't say I was expecting to hear you. Yeah, I wasn't exact, really expecting to be calling. Well, is, is there something I can do for you? Go on, just ask. So, the wedding's coming up really soon, isn't it? Yeah, 15 days left for my count. <laughs> it's just really sneaking up on us, isn't it? Look, if you're going to ask me for an invite, it's really not right soon. It'd be nice to see you again and all, but that's Steve's call. I'm not looking for an invitation. I already got one in the mail a while back. So have it. Really? Is that surprising? Well, maybe not. Not really too involved with the wedding plans. So I don't know too much. Just didn't expect you to be coming considering the breakup. So if you're not looking for an invite, what can I do for you? Well, that should be by me in a few days. And I haven't really figured out a place to say it. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Steve had the genius idea of booking the wedding during some big convention or something. Can't say I'd ever heard of Swagfest before, but apparently getting a hotel room is impossible right now. Most of the guests are staying with some other family friends. It's a packed house too. I hate to say it, but your best bet might be snuggling up on a curb. Oh yeah, I guess. It would be the worst thing to happen this month. Hmm, sounds like you've gone through quite a lot to come here. So you might not like it, but I feel bad knowing you were home up in hostel or something. Why don't you just come stay with me until the wedding? It'd be nice to see you again and get a chance to catch up. Really? You do that for me? Well, it wouldn't be the first time you got a free, a free ride off my back. So I guess I'll see you in a few days then. Still remember where the house is, I assume? Yeah, for sure. Thanks, really. Alright. I'll talk to you in your life. Well, how'd it go? And I guess you're gonna drop me off at our place. Casey's invited me to stay there. I was hoping that's not a terrible idea. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, baby girl, we need to focus on this race now. Let's head over to the track. Alright, you ready to sell this once and for all? Wager is one lap around the track, fastest time wins. You win. You get the car. I win. You're staying here working with me, moving scrap, scrap for three months. <coughs> yeah, we know what's, what's at stake already. You just don't want to hear you complaining when you wipe, we wipe the floor with you. Oh, come on now, Mark. What would the big guy say if you heard you talking like that? That's between him and me, isn't it? Why don't you go ahead and worry about who's going first? We want to go second, so we know what we're up against. I just want me to warm up, the, warm up the track for you. Well, you know what? We'll flip for it. When he gets to go last. Go on. Call it okay. Heads. Uh, yay. I guess someone's looking out for us after all. <laughs> What's the matter? You're never going to beat my time. I know this track's like a back in my hand. Well, let's get a move on then. Yeah. I am. Let's go. Give me a second. All 
All right, your munchkins. Be good and make sure these two don't cheat. Once that is finished, we all go out for ice cream. How's the sound? Hey, ice cream. You love me, Daddy. Go, Daddy, go. I'm gonna cheer for you. All right, munchkins. I'll see you at the finish line. Be good. Sorry, kids. He might die. Now, soon. Why are you going into that, that side of the car? I can't watch. Hi, kids. There. Okay. Sorry about the race. Whenever you are, he's gonna die. Three, two, one, go. Too bad for him if it's after the kids. How much? How long are we gonna watch it? Thank you. <clears throat> Daddy, no! I want Daddy to get out of the car. Not my Daddy, no! What just happened to my Daddy? God damn it! It's our fault. It's all our fault. We're just in the bed and the best one another. Maybe if we learn to be better friends. Love each other as neighbors are supposed to. What we gotta be so petty for? This isn't how we're supposed to win. I'm gonna get go notify the authorities. I'll see you home later tonight. What about the car? I guess we're in it, didn't we? Yeah. Not really. About now. Well, that's that. And it's all dark and scary. Don't do that. Let's go back to the trailer. Get some sleep. Not write in journal what we did. Um. And yeah. Thanks. Animal Planet on, and there are animal babies, and they're so cute. So cute. Let's have to take a nap. Sleep. Really? Fine. I'll eat my last fish. Fine. You're such a baby. You can't starve in one day. Yeah, sleep. You can't starve in one day. It takes like two weeks to starve to death. Two weeks, not two days. Or three weeks to starve to death. Two weeks to be thirsty to death, I think. So that's kind of sucky. Um, let's head up to the church. Maybe, yeah. That was like a good plan. Maybe confess our sins. <laughs> Better not. You know, my one mark to know what we did. Oh, we also had to ride out his girlfriend. So, no, thanks. Wait. Just excuse me for a second. I want to go up here. <laughs> Nipples. How much money do I have? I need to save. Let's save the strip club. That's a great idea. Great plan. I don't have any money at all. No. <laughs> I want to join them. So I'm actually excited. There are the old guys from the campfire. Probably cost a lot of money. Girl, I want to talk to you. Fine. The 
men's room. Not, no. Women's room. So you're clean in here. Hmm. Take it. No one noticed anything. I'm really, I was really poor, so I'm sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Holes and poles. <laughs> Holes and poles. <sighs> yeah, that's a great name for a strip club. Great name. Hey dude. Yeah. Car's ready for you whenever you need. Let's go someone stick around for a bit. Let's go. Yes. Let's hit the road. Yay. And we don't want to be arrested. <laughs> at the house. Awesome. Well, I guess this is it. This is it, baby girl. Here at last and gone so soon. I really enjoyed getting to you again, you know. A big part of me never thought I'd get to see you again all growing up. But I got more than I could ask for. It's really been a pleasure. Yeah, it was fun getting to know you too. Maybe I'll stop by Salt City sometime in the future or something. Bless you. Uh, you know, you always got a place to stay with old Mark. I guess this is where we part for now, though, ain't it? Yeah, it seems that way. Thanks again for everything. Well, it's the least I could do. You've turned to such a fine young lady. It does me a while of good knowing you've had some, some, I've had some sort of hand in that. Not that good, you know. Take care of yourself, all right? You too, Mark. One more thing before I go. What's that? Is it true to her? However you think that is. I think it's more important in this world or the next. Whatever comes in your comes your way, you try to be as honest with yourself as you can. Maybe God will be watching, maybe not. Any for any of us to say for certain. For my own for my own mistakes though. I know that there's no escaping your past. But try to be decent in the present, right? You understand? Alright then, baby girl. It's time I shuffled off and let you get on. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Pretty sure he doesn't, but okay. Whatever you say, man. And we're here. At the house. Yeah. Because you had a dream about it. Not that long ago. So, yeah. Oh, here's the door. Or is it this door? No, it's up here. Sorry. This one. Mm-hmm. Just walking in the back door. Casey? You know, I got Sam a little surprised you're actually here. I don't remember seeing your name on the seating arrangement for the reception. Well, I'm as surprised as everything. Surprised as anyone I was invited at all. These things considered. You were, you were invited, weren't you? Yeah, of course. I got the invitation and everything. Came in the mail, just like everyone else has. Huh, how about that? Steve never mentioned you'd be coming. Maybe I'm not as sharp as I used to be. Either way, I wasn't about to let you come all this way and stay in the motel or something. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm not putting you out, am I? Not at all. Since Steve moved out, I've had this place all to myself. It's a funny thing, though, being on my own now. While well, you two were together, I couldn't wait for you to get out of my hair. Now that I finally got my privacy back, I kind of miss having people around the house. 
I guess the grass is always greener, huh? <laughs> I guess sometimes it's true. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's alright. I'm over it. Thing made his choice. No sense getting all worked up about it now, right? All that matters now is that things are the way he wants. I suppose that's true, as long as it's true. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing really. Just, you know, how Steve and I are. We love each other at a great deal. Love each other a great deal, but we barely talk. I never did ask what happened between you two. My lot ended. It's one of those things that always made me feel a bit of a failure as a mother. If it's too much to ask about, you don't have to. I just wish I knew what happened between you two. I mean, you seem so happy together. It's hard to imagine when it didn't work out. Well, I guess things aren't always as good as they seem from the outside. Truth be told, it kind of snuck up on me too. For lack of a better way to put it, who dumb too? I was worried you'd ask. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, which one's better? Um, yeah, go with that one. I was one dumb Tim. Worst mistake of my life. I've regretted it every day since. And uh, if I could undo it, I would. Why though? What made you want to leave him? Well, if that was a simple way. To put it, honestly, I don't think I was ever truly worthy of the, of the relationship in the first place. He was so good for me. I knew it was holding him back like an anchor. Maybe I thought he'd be better off without me. I left him because I don't deserve having someone like that in my life. Oh, for what it's worth, see if that's been the same since you two split. Maybe that's, that sort of breakup changes the person. Maybe he's just unhappy. All I know is I'm not so sure everything's as good as it could be for him. Don't get me wrong, for a minute, Steve couldn't pick a more fantastic person to marry. I just remember him being a lot happy happier, all with you. But then again, this is what he wants, so don't get any ideas, alright? Doesn't matter what I say, he's made his choice. Look, I gotta go get fitted for my dress. I hate doing this stuff, but I guess I shouldn't put it off any longer. Welcome to stay here, there's no problem about that. The bedroom's yours if you want it. About Steve. Ah, not the money they've been making. They went and got an apart apartment closer to downtown. I at least stop by from time to time, but I've got the place mostly to myself these days. Make yourself at home while you're here, but don't eat all the leftovers, alright? Understood. Alright, do me a favor and um, make sure you lock up the place before you go. Last thing I need is another breaking. Break Can't afford to keep replacing all my stuff. Well, that's my ride. See you soon. Yeah. I had to steal some of your food because I'm probably starving soon again because she's so hungry. Just eat all the time. I can't even touch the fridge, so whatever. We should probably... I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna save. there and that's it and I'm going to see you tomorrow so yeah bye bye